though the internet is great for a lot of things, what I love about it are the stories of girls behaving badly. This week we talked about the Oregon State University girl who decided to make some naughty videos in the library. There was also the girl on Tinder who bragged about sleeping with an NFL player. But my favorite naughty girl on the internet has got to be Sarah X Mills. She agreed to answer some of my burning questions so I decided to interview her with Todd and Jay on the Todd Shapiro Show. My name is Michael McCrudden and this is IO on the Radio. Dreams do come true children, Sarah knows who I am. Michael McCrudden, how are things going on Inform Overload? Things are going fantastic as always. What's going on in your world? Well, this week it's all about girls behaving badly and uh, it makes me a happy man because I get to touch base with some of these people. Nikki Benz, I got to meet her at a nightclub and it's all because I'm talking on YouTube, right? Nice. So right now there's some girls doing some terrible things and I love it. What's going on with Sarah X? Sarah X, yeah. So we all know her. She's the boob twerker. Dude. The Mozart. Uh, she started off with that. And I think it was just a fluke thing where she decided to, uh, she could flex those implants so well. She'd do it to some music that she loved. And the world ate it up. And she's becoming like a YouTube phenomenon. She is huge. She gets over six, 700,000 hits. She's got 22 million hits on some. Like that much attention is unbelievable. Can we speak with her? I have her phone number right here. Wow. And she's, uh, she's prepared for us to call her. Uh, Brody, why don't you do it? Why don't you? Why don't I've been you telling her all about you boys. I'm telling her everyone in So we're going to be on with the one and only Sarah X. Absolutely. I believe she's on the phone. It's with great pleasure that Micah McCrudden from Inform Overload has hooked this up, and we thank him very much for doing so. I'm so excited. And oh, my gosh. She's on the phone. I, in L.A.? In L.A.? She's in Are you in L.A., Sarah? Sarah X Mills, Woo! everyone. How are you doing, Sarah? I am great. How are you guys? Well, we are very grateful for the fact that you uh, gave us your time right now. So, Sarah, uh, can we just sort of delve into one day you start a YouTube channel and how do you decide the most popular video you've done? One that probably definitely puts you on the world map, uh, this Mozart uh, moving your, your boobs to it. Um, where, uh, where do you come up with this idea? I was writing viral like news stories up for uh, several companies, and I realized there was no one who was moving their boobs. <laughs> I'd seen all the, the twerking and like the three boob lady, and I'd written those stories up, and I was like, huh, well, maybe I should make something that, that capitalizes on this boob moving. And I actually I had a YouTube channel. I wasn't sure how monetizing it worked. I knew I needed a royalty-free song, so that was how I ended up with Mozart. It was the first one I found. Wow. It was a truly like a 70-some-year-old recording, and it was free. Brilliant. Uh, I deleted all of my old videos that had any sort of copywritten music on it because I was like, I don't know if I can monetize my channel. Smart. And uh, I uploaded it, and within, I want to say, a day I had... A hundred thousand or a million or something—it was crazy. My so, goodness! And uh, and did you ever, you know, and you're this is the world you worked in, so you understood it. Uh, did you ever think you would get to thirty-seven million views? I definitely did not. I thought maybe I would get to like two hundred and fifty thousand, and I was like, well, if I get like two hundred and fifty thousand, then you know, maybe I can make a little bit of money. So. Yeah, when it hit a million, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And I, I've noticed, like, I'm not the one who's just watched the uh, the twerking video. I've watched every video you've put out as of recent. It, like, you've moved to L.A. now. Is your life changing because of YouTube? Um, partially, yes. I'm, I'm outside of L.A., so I'm closer to everything that's going on, but I'm not, like, right in the middle of it. I am close to the beach, which is really nice. I was in the middle of the desert, and that was, that was depressing. I have to ask you about your tattoos. Uh, uh, how many do you have? I don't think that you really count them with a number anymore. Percentage, like 40% of my body or something is probably covered and I'm working on, uh, I'm going Tuesday for another appointment. I can finally finish my left arm, which a lot of my fans complain about. They're like, I hate your tattoo on your left arm. You need to finish it. It looks incomplete. I'm like, well, you can pay for it. Sarah, I'm a huge fan of Mozart and breasts. I have a question for you. When did you realize you had such good control? Like, how did you learn to do that? It's, it's, it's like kind of a, quite a talent. How did you figure that out? So I used to be like a, a go-go dancer and stuff, and I, I could do that. I'd seen other girls with implants do it. And before I had implants, I figured out I could do it, but it didn't look as intense. Mm. After I got implants and I healed, I, I started doing it, and I was like, ha-ha, yay, this is, this is what I've seen for so many years, and um, it looks ridiculous. Are people kind of tough on you a little bit going, well, you're just making a living showing your unbelievable body and, and what other talent is there? Do you ever hear that? Oh, of course. All the time, and people say that I have no brain and whatever, and I'm like, yeah, if I had no brain, do you think that I would have been able to put together a video that got 
37 million views on it. I don't and monetize it. I don't I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there are people who have done that, but um, it's great. No, listen, I'm really happy for you. You're, you're doing so well. You're, you're having fun with it. And why not? I, in this world of YouTube and whatever's online, uh, you know, it's not like you're going and hunting bears and taking pictures of their heads because you think that's cool. Like, mm. you're just having some fun. You're snorkeling. You're moving your boobs. And, and people are watching this stuff. And you're making money. And in this day and age, it's not easy to make money, especially out in the world you're in. Uh, there's so many entertainers, so many performers. But are people actually ultimately come up to you and said, Sarah X, we want you to do porn? Oh, so all the time. People, I've been approached by companies that do produce porn, big name companies, uh, and I have fans tell me all the time, like, oh, you need to, you're going to do porn, which is always my favorite. Like, it's an eventuality, which um, I don't agree with, because if every chick who ever ran around in a bikini on the internet did porn, there would be no porn industry. It would just collapse from oversaturation. Now, Sarah, on the other end of the spectrum, have you had some uh, mainstream media come up to you and said, you know, we want to put you in a role of the next Scream or whatever it may be. Uh, is there an opportunity for you to do some real acting? Um, I don't know. I haven't really been seriously approached about stuff like that. I've been approached by some independent filmmakers, but nothing incredibly mainstream. I would be open to it, of course. Have you had, like, the stuff. TMZs come at you? And, uh, like, I mean, I, I would just imagine everyone's knocking on your door t trying to find out more about you because, honestly, let's be honest, you, you are very famous for moving your boobs. <laughs> Which is, it's so strange. Yeah, I, I've, had, um, I've had lots of people approach me for interviews and stuff like that, and I've gotten to travel the world a little bit. I was on TV in Japan and in Italy. No way. Which was really great. Of course, I've done some Skype interviews more internationally than I've traveled, and I believe I have a trip possibly coming up to Germany. I know that right now there's a German radio station that's running a contest where you have to guess what song it is that I'm moving my boobs to. <laughs> so we gotta, we awesome. gotta steal that. We gotta steal the Germans contest <laughs> and do something very similar. The truth is, we have a program here, and we are the most. We're, we're a bunch of horn dogs in this room, and, and we are we're guys who are juvenile and love to have fun and some locker room humor once in a, once in a while. But the truth is, we always are 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 inspired by people who go out, do something, take a chance, and make a living by doing it. Um, and, and we would never knock it down that way. And honestly, how couldn't you knock someone down who is so beautiful and is just having fun and is kind of self deprecating and lighthearted? And it's been fantastic watching you evolve. It's been what, what's going on? What's next with you, Sarah? I want to know what you got planned for the future. So I do have a Valentine's video coming out. Um, I'm working on that right now. I don't have internet at the moment, so there isn't but so much I can do. And not not good in the business plan. For you guys. No. <laughs> I know. Bad. I'm really upset with, uh, with my internet service provider. But I, I have a Valentine's video coming out. It should be kind of funny. It might be, I don't know, kind of weird. Of course, there's boobs in it. And then I have a tattoo tour video. Everyone's asking me about what was your first tattoo? What's your favorite tattoo? What do your tattoos mean? Probably the most asked questions that I get is about my tattoos. So I really want to put something out there for the fans and explain what all of them are and what they mean. Well, very kind of you to, to open up to your fans and to get a little personal as opposed to just showing us uh, your wonderful aesthetics. Sarah X Mills, go and subscribe to her channel. I'm sure you've seen her for sure. Uh, I know every, uh, every one of my friends has, uh, most definitely. And are you on the Twitter machine and Facebook as well? I am on the Twitter machine. It's facebook.com slash Sarah on the internet. That's S-A-R-A on the internet. And then it's internet Sarah on Twitter. Excellent. And if you ever plan on coming coming into Canada, more specifically Toronto, where we broadcast from, uh, two things. One, make sure you do it in the summertime so you can wear some of these bikinis and stuff. Uh, and two, please come on the show live. We'd love to talk to you again. Maybe we can even do a Skype thing that we can uh, simulcast somehow and get out there uh, and, and have some fun with you and, and just continue to help promote you. And, and if you wouldn't mind, uh, just uh, obviously the more you do with us, it helps us as well. So we can't thank you enough. Great. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have been able to talk with you guys today. Uh. Thank you very much. And is it true you did the whole interview just like you were just every time you talk to you, do you move the boobs in that motion too? Like a puppet? Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank Love you, that. Sarah. Thanks for letting so us have awesome. some fun with you. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe for more. We read the best comments on air.
Peace. So that was an awesome interview. We got to learn a lot about Sarah X. Do you guys want to see more of her? I'm actually going to set up a webcam interview and we can actually see the woman. Maybe she'll do some working. That's boob twerking. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you want me to ask her. I'll see you guys in the next video.